I hey everybody. So I'm making my first audio tool audio tool tutorial. Um, this is going to eventually be a whole series of tutorials. Um, so this first video is for people who have just joined audio tool, have no clue what is going on, or for people. Well, yeah, for people who are just, just, just for that. Um, so, I imagine you joined Audio Tool to make music. So, first what you want to do is you want to go audiotool.com slash app. What you could also do is go to the website. And there will be a little app button right here. And you can click on that also. But I like to go into the app on Chrome. So, wait for that to load. So, I suggest you don't mess with these too much because it starts you off in making music as unoriginal. So, I suggest you start, click on this, empty track. Now, you opened up the app. This is, you are now in the app, you're now on the website. And this is the area where you make music. So, uh, this is the mixer. This is the amp. This is that's what all the music comes out from. And I'm gonna go into those in another tutorial. But in this tutorial, I'm pretty much going to show you how to place notes. So, first of all, these are all the synths right here. You have the pulverizer the baseline, the tone matrix, and the Heisenberg. Um, all these synths create sounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and hold on one of these icons and I'm going to drag it out onto the screen. Now you see that I loaded up a synth. Um, these over here obviously are drums. Now um, most people do not use the baseline and the tone matrix. I suggest staying away from those because the baseline is very complicated to use and it's very limited to use. And the tone matrix is unbelievably, it's very, very highly limited synth to use. So I suggest you stay with the Pulverizer and the Heisenberg. And the Heisenberg, just saying, has a much higher sound quality than the Pulverizer. So... Anyway, I'm just going to delete this to make it more simple. Make this video more simple. So here we just have the synth and the amp. Now, when you drag out this uh, synth and when it appears, you'll see that there's a red bar appearing at the bottom of the screen. What you want to do is... So, anyway, this is where notes are going to be played right here. So, what you want to do is you want to, just anywhere in this highlighted area, is double tap. And if you press the play button, you'll see that it plays wherever these bars are right here. Now, remember, you cannot create notes by double tapping on this. This is the holder of the notes, and this is where the actual notes are played and where they are. So you could just like play around with this for a while, double tapping in random places. I think that sounds pretty good. Um. So, you might be thinking, oh, man, I want this to, like, go on loop. So, what you want to do, I'm going to go out of that. Put your mouse right at the end of the bar. Click, hold, and drag. Now, watch what happens. It will keep playing like that. So, yeah, that's pretty much how you play notes right there. That's how you place notes, how you play them. Um, a little bit extra to that is say you wanted to extend this loop right here. 
there's a little button right here and if you click and drag that out that's what happens right there so you could add on to that and yeah so that's how you place notes thanks for watching the video and i hope to see you again